I got a lot of things to take care of. So I can't just be on time every single time. I'm on time when it comes to split decision, but not every single time. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, let's talk about it. Andre, Andre he accepted Charlo challenge, unlike Canelo. Andre, see, that's why I like Andre. He got the same heart that Charlo got. Heart of a lion. Where the lion at? Where the lion at? Where the line at? You done took my line? Oh, yeah, that's how you feel? Anyways. No, you took it out. The line ain't in the house no more, but guess what? Canelo's strapped in the house. I best believe Canelo's strapped in the house. Now, Andre responded to, uh, to Charlo and stated, hey, if you for real, we could fight. I believe he said, don't quote me on this, but May or like around that time because he got a mandatory. He fighting his mandatory cheap. I think that's his name. Yeah. I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name. It's supposed to be on January 30, I believe. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, during Super Bowl week or something like that. Now, Andre, he's fighting who's available. A lot of people coming over here criticizing him, talking about, oh, you criticizing Canelo, but you ain't criticizing Andre. What the hell you want him to do? <laughs> what do y'all want him to do? If Canelo ain't willing to fight him, if Sandra's Turn down a fight with him. If well, he Paul, didn't turn down a fight. T- with him. Man, I said it for a thousand times. Let's not disagree with facts. <laughs> like, like, don't tell me he didn't turn down a fight when he did. Like, that's that's not professional. Like, we you got to keep it professional. He turned down a fight. If you don't know, if he, he didn't, didn't, he didn't accept the fight with him. I I saw a press conference. I saw both of them both of them at the press conference, and he had to pull out of the fight because he felt a drug test. And then hey yeah, guys, he said he came back. I ain't gonna let you slide this time. To I ain't gonna that. let you slide. No, but no, listen, professors. Go ahead and finish your point. Go do, ahead and finish your point. Listen, I'm gonna finish my part saying this. Professors, what they do is do they do their research, right? You need yeah, to yeah. do your research because he the zone offered Billy Joe Saunders a fight at 168 with Andre. Andre was willing to move up and wait and fight him, and he turned it down. That's after that. It happened after that. So Google it and find out. Like I said, I'm not bringing up points out of my ass. Like, I'm bringing up facts. So Sanders don't want to fight him, just like Canelo, because he don't like his style. However, he finna fight Sanders because Sanders looked horrible for his last performance, right? Um, all these fighters, according to you, Charlo don't want to fight him. All these fighters. So, of course, he got to stay active. What do y'all want to do? Y'all want to do him like Regan Diaz? Back in the day when they froze him out. So he got to stay active in case somebody like Canelo want to grow some cojones and get in the ring with him. Because now they're going to make all the excuses in the world. So like I said, he fighting this guy because he got to stay active. Just like Charlo. I say the same thing about Charlo. You got to stay active and put on impressive performances so you get the big fights. Now he said, hey, Charlo, I accept your challenge and I'm going to call you a bluff. Like, I don't know what that means. Like I said, Charlo said, hey, if Canelo ain't willing to fight me, then Andre, I want Andre. I want Benavidez. I want Banks. He didn't even say he want Banks, but Banks keep calling him out. Um, <laughs> he said he want the, the guy 168 that, that Canelo don't want to fight. Better be Benavidez, right? Bene- yeah. Canelo, he want to fight Mexicans, right? But he fought Lopez. Lopez was a Mexican. He, he was trying to fight Ortiz, right? Lopez was 140 pounds. He fought him. As soon as Benavidez called him out, he said, oh, you know what? I don't fight Mexican. What? <laughs> like, how you fight Lopez, but you don't fight Benavidez? Oh, now you know it's a real challenge. You ain't trying to step in the ring with him. He said the same thing about Charlo and Android. And every real challenge, like, better be it. But when it's a uh, washed up, you know, what, uh, Kovalev, Kovalev, he want to fight him. So we know what time it is. Champion. So, so what do you got to say to... Lineal champion. So what do you got to say to Andre making the comments of, we'll see, we, I'm going to call his bluff. You know, he want to fight Charlo. Uh, Charlo said if Canelo fight, if Canelo keep ducking, he's been ducking for the past six years. He ducked on Andre at 154 for this strap, the uh, WBO strap. He ducked. Uh, Charlo for the WBC strap. We got it here. He, Charlo sent it my way. He ducked him for the IBF belt at 154. Man, this man done ducked the whole season, man. It, it, man, so what's up with Charlo and Andre? Are they going to fight since Canelo is not fighting them? Regardless of what they do, 
I don't care who they beat. I don't care if they move up in to heavyweight and beat a Deontay Wilder. Canelo is not fighting them. Now, if they look horrible <laughs> against the bomb, oh, he fighting them. But I'm saying, if they keep looking the way they are, he ain't fighting them. So, mm-hmm. what's your take on Andre versus Charlo? Uh, and who's lying? Who are they gonna fight next? Is it the business? What is it? I think it's at the point where they have to fight each other. Um, to me, from my understanding, Andre's been calling for that fight. Charlo been calling for that fight. I, like that. That's, I thought, that's I thought, a dub. I thought, I thought, I thought Charlo was the one that said that he didn't want to go to the zone unless it was against Canelo or Triple G, and he didn't want to do it. Da-da. So that was a lot of like, I don't want to go across the street unless it's for well, you can say the, the guys same about Andre. on like, the hope list. What's the point? But I, let's, I, let's talk about. I think the fight, fight is gonna happen because they're just at a point where. Canelo, when you say that that it doesn't matter what they do, I don't know what they have done necessarily. Because they can't get a fight with anybody. Well, Gennady I mean, that, Golovkin that's, that's true, but, that's, but that's, that's, not, that's not Canelo's job to, to I, make I sure that they Canelo. do that. I didn't say Canelo. I said Gennady Golovkin didn't want to fight. He turned down a fight with him. Joe Saunders turned, turned down a fight with Andre. Canelo turned down a fight with Andre. So if Jake, you... Jacobs. If, Jacobs. Jacob, they, like, they friends. Like, they close. Okay. Yeah. They so friends. I'm saying... If every fighter don't want to fight you, what are you supposed to do? You got to feed your family. You got to stay active. You know, Canelo keep fighting bums. Listen, what, what, I, what I'm saying, like, the door. I've, I've always been in, in Andre's corner, corner. He's been calling out the big fights. You don't but, sound like you and are. Then he, he, but what, I, what I'm saying is that he was mismanaged throughout his career, and I can't point to really any substantive name on his resume, but I, I like how he fights, but he has a, he's a slick, he's a long, slick softball with long reach that, you know, that kind of spoils in the fight, so it's hard to look good against. So there's this, um, and even this this comment, um, so this is from an ESPN article. By, ESPN um, article? By Dan The Rayfield. same people but that erased Lomachenko no, lost. No, but what, what he's doing, he's he said, un, unable to land a big-time fight, mainly because he represents a very high risk with only a modest financial uh, reward. Andre is not about to sit around and wait for another top middleweight to fight him. That's the same thing that you said. Listen, listen. Hold That's on. The same you, thing said, that you, you said you said he didn't fight nobody, said. right? You said he didn't fight nobody. So let's talk about it. Who are we talking about? Andre? Andre. Andre. Okay, let's talk about it. He fought Vince. He was 33-0. and 0. He was undefeated. That was a great opponent. Like, you cannot not a, tell me. A great, was he a champion? Man, you better, you don't know who uh, uh, Vincent. Uh, he fought Gennady Golovkin, too, but that's after two-year layoff and moving up in weight. I forgot his name. I'm not pronouncing his name right. Uh, v. Oh, you talking about um? Mary, Mary Yoga. Yeah. Um. He Mary fought Rosen, him. Uh, yeah. Venice. He fought him and he was undefeated. Uh, he fought Brian when he was twenty five and one, right? He fought winning w- Willie Nelson that knocked out Tony. He knocked him out coming off a, a year and a half layoff. He knocked out Nelson while Nelson was um. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure how active Nelson was, but Andres was inactive. He oh, he was two years out of the game. He came back and. Ne- Knocked out Nelson after Nelson knocked out Tony, right? But, oh, that ain't a good win, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, like, all these fighters on his list, like, no, that's it. Fi- and those Fox, are, and 23 those are like and 0. Level hold on, hold on. What? Solusky like almost are, beat Jacob. Big, he had a close fighters. fight with Jacob, and he killed Jacob, uh, Solusky every single round. So it ain't like he ain't fought nobody. He just make them look like it ain't nobody. And like I said, who if you're gonna if you want to use that argument, let's use that argument for Canelo. Who can who who Rocky Fielding for? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, it's all excuses. You you said oh no, Charlo no. used that 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 oh he on a different network. Andre is on the same network as Canelo, and he ain't trying to fight Canelo. But I keep Canelo. You, you, listen, you gotta Andre, remember what I said. I said like he poses a very high risk. With you know, what I'm saying with not much reward. So Rocky He's a Fielding, lot of Rocky Fielding does not. And nobody's going to give him credit. Just like I, oh, you beat Andre. Like Oscar you know, like, De La Hoya came out saying that not just him, all these legendary fighters that he need to beat the likes of Charlo and Andre to be great. What you mean? Everybody going to give him the credit. We if if you if we considered his critics, 
we going to give them the credit. So who you want the credit from? If it's from your, your fans support you either way, you saying he not going to get a lot to gain or he, he don't have a lot to gain. Canelo was one belt removed from becoming the undisputed at 160. Be, that's his big dream. He was going to be the first Mexican ever to be the, you know, the, the undisputed champion at 160. Guess what he decided to do? He vacated his straps instead of fighting Andre. He was one belt removed from becoming undisputed. So don't tell me he don't got nothing to gain. He got a lot to gain. But the obstacle is bigger than him. He feel like, oh, I can't beat Andre no way. What's the point? If I fight Andre, I'm going to lose. I can't even rob him because he's going to whip me so much that it's just he's going to grab Canelo's straps and whip him with it. So we know what time it is. He ain't so trying let to me, see him. Let's go to So somebody wrote, like, Sean, Sean wrote, who Canelo fought that wasn't compromised? I'll wait. Uh, well, you don't have to wait that long. One. What do you mean compromised? Look, you gotta, you like as far as like age or injured or coming off a of bad yeah, loss. Yeah, like so all like, of them. Um, Kovalev. Lara. Kovalev. He lost to Lara. How you going to mention a fight he lost? Trout. Trout. It was, he, it was um, a close fight. Mayweather. No, scorecard. no, he, he didn't say. Larry, he, no, listen, Floyd, he beat he his said, ass. He said, who has he fought? He didn't say, who has he beat? Okay. He said, who has Kovalev. he fought? Kovalev. No, he said that wasn't. He had, he actually, I, I just gave three names. These guys and he were lost, not He lost three of them fights. He lost three of them fights. He lost to Floyd, then he lost to Larry. So, like I said, they trying to protect Canelo because every time he fights a fighter, what's the word he used? Compromise. Every time he fights a fighter that's not compromised, he get beat. <laughs> so they try to protect this boy because he don't he not he don't got the cojones to step in the ring with men like Andre the Charlo. Like I said, Andre called him a B. I ain't gonna say on live. Probably we got kids watching. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my, all my <laughs> achis and all that. But like I said, Adrian Bona. I mean not Adrian Bona. Andre called him a B. He yeah. told him, you don't got no cojones. If you got cojones, come see me. I didn't even know what cojones mean. <laughs> I had to go Google it. Like Deontay Wilder said, I had to go Google that shit. Google Translate. Out, to figure out what cojones means. I was like, oh, that's what he meant. Because when you, listen, when you, are, when you a boy, you know, you will hop in the ring with a good fighter. But when you a man, you will hop in the ring with everybody. So Andre tried to tell him, listen, you got cojones, come see me, bro. You, I, I gave up my strap. You went and fought for a vacant strap. The whole time I had the strap, you didn't want to come see me. As soon as I vacated it, you went and beat Smith, a, a guy that's a nobody. And he, like I said, he'd been avoiding Andre for five years. The same for Charlo. He'd been avoiding Charlo for five years. Yes. He gave up his strap. Like, I, 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 lo I lost for, all the respect. I thought that was for his brother. I lost all. Now, that's at 154. He avoided both. He lost. He gave up his strap. He requested a WBC, like, hello, WBC? Yeah, man, listen, I got a line outside. Man, listen, man, you know, I got them chicken feathers, right? Man, that line, man, he going to feast on me. Oh, what? What I got to do? Oh, throw him a bait? What y'all, y'all want him to throw me, throw, throw him the what? Throw him the food? What, what, with a strap on it? Oh, nah, man. Okay, well, if that's the only way, it is what it is. That's what Canelo did. He also he had he fought also, a WBC. He also fought Jacobs when, when Jacobs was clearly like one of the top contenders too. So that's so, so is is well, we got you got Benavides. I mean, I mean, you got Benavides. You got Benavides. He claiming he Mexican. He don't want to fight him. He got better be if oh he he too young like oh nah he ain't washed up like Kovalev. Uh, Charlo oh he a lion. I ain't going near him. When you a duck, he gonna feast on you. You got Andre, been ducking him for five years like he been ducking Charlo. So I'm not just giving you a name. I'm giving you names with facts. And Canelo, he chooses to fight Saunders and Smith, two fighters that's coming off a horrible performance where, where Billy Saunders, almost, he was losing almost every single round to a bum. Meanwhile, Smith, on the other hand, he he robbed his opponent. He also won by knockout, right? He robbed his opponent. Like, he, he said Saunders was born as soon as he looked exposed versus a nobody, then, oh, it's automatically a go. Let's stop playing, man. So, on to the next topic. Well, hold on. Uh, so, with that said, uh, I would love to see in the springtime Charlo. Oh, yeah, who are you picking? Who are you picking for that fight? Charlo against Andre. Andre. Who are you picking? I'm actually going to go with Andre. And I think that the winner should 
unequivocally get a shot at Canelo. I would say that. Canelo ain't trying to fight nobody. He man, should. If he not, then we take him a task, take all his belts, do this. But they fight each other. That, that's basically yeah, like a number one contender. They do that. He fights them on um, September the 5th, which is what? Mexican. Well, it's, it's a Mexican holiday. Do it, Canelo. You know, I'm not sure who I'm afraid favorite in that fight, but I actually think that Andre will beat Charlo. Okay. Um, you know, that fight is tricky. Who you got? Um, Andre, on one hand, one of the best in the world. I believe him versus Charlo is the Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford of the middleweight division. They, that guy. This fight was supposed to be the quarter fight for the final, right? But because... They can't, like, in, in basketball or anything, you got leads, you know, they're going to have to play against each other. In boxing, you don't got to fight against the best. Charlo could um, ask for a Canelo fight all he want. He's not going to get it. WBC ordered the Gennady Golovkin versus him. It didn't happen. Andre, he was supposed to fight Gennady Golovkin. It didn't happen. The WBC ordered versus the fight between Charlo and, and, and um, Canelo. The fight didn't happen. We know if them fight took place, then Charlo would have whipped Canelo and Andre would have whipped Gennady Golovkin, and then they would have met, and it would have been the final. But now, obviously, they got to settle for, the, for less, but it is what it is. It's like back in the day, the murderers roll all over again. The murderers roll fighters fight each other. The hopeless fighters fight each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, are you, you going to make a pick? So I would say this. <laughs> Charlo, he, the younger Charlo, Jamal Charlo, for example, he does better versus softball than Jam the Jamal. Jamal Charlo, in my opinion. Because he, he got to spar the best of both worlds. He got to spar Lara, who is a moving target. Then he got to spar Errol Spence. Yeah. So he, that's why he knocked out Lubin the way he did. People that said I was a lucky shot. No, he been spar Errol Spence and Lara for years. What you think? Like, Lubin is one of the best, too. But it's just the fact that he's so familiar with a softball style that he, he feel at home. Yeah. Um, however, I believe the fact that Jamal Charlo spars a lot of middleweights, Kind of end up, I mean, not, I mean, as far as Lara for a long time, Lara being a slick fighter that counters, he kind of overthinks too much because Lara, he will set you up and all that. So he probably, he will fight a softball and overthink when he could just let shot. This is an open target. He thinking, oh, he's trying to set him up, but nah, he's just an open target. So I believe that Charlo, Jamal Charlo, he does better against orthodox fighters. So that might give Andre the egg in that fight. However, He's a live opponent for sure. So um, give me a pick. Um, I would say, I don't know, 50-50. I can't pick on that one. I don't know. I got to see how they look on their next couple fights. Um, so on 